This is My Life is India. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And if you did not know, your girl has started a brand new career in real estate. I am a realtor in Georgia and I am still amazed at everything that God has done thus far. And your girl passed her test, her state exam on the first try, um, which is amazing. <laughs> and I was so anxious because I had planned since I started this journey to pass on the first try, but of course along the way you hear so many stories from people, oh I took it two times, I took it three times, oh they took it six times. All of that can tend to get in your head a little bit and make you think and wonder if you really can do this. But I praise God I did it and I only have to take the state exam once. So I'm just going to give you some quick tips on what I did to pass the state exam. First of all, if you don't really know about the real estate process, you have to take a pre-licensing course. And in Georgia, it has to be 75 hours. So I did that um, and you have to take a school final, which I passed on the first try. You get two times to take that, but I passed that. And that really kind of helps you prepare for the state exam and they don't tell you what you got wrong so you're kind of just left to maybe remember some of the questions which I remembered a lot of the questions that I was a little stuck on um, and I have a slight photographic memory so I think that that helped a bit so I did that and after that you can go and sit for the state exam I wasted no time. Um, I took my school final, I believe it was on a Monday, and that following day I registered for the state exam and I took it the following, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, um, Tuesday. So I took, I had about seven days between the school final and the state exam. So during that time, I was like, you know, cramming a whole lot of information um, and really fine tuning the things that I knew I needed to work on more. For me, um, I did study groups maybe two or three times, but I learned, especially from this process, that I study better by myself just because I can focus more on what I know I need to work on and I can get a lot done quicker. And this, you know, wasn't as easy as far as studying because I do have a son who is under one. So when I started school, he was seven months old. When I finished and was licensed, he was about almost nine months old. So, um, you know, that really did hinder me in certain areas. So I had to do a lot of my studying late at night. And there were some nights I was up till three, four in the morning, you know, cramming information because that was the only time I could get, you know, peace and quiet and really be able to focus without distractions. So for me, um, besides studying on my own, another thing that really helped me was prep agent. He is amazing. He has lots of uh, webinar videos on YouTube and I watched almost every single one of those which really helped me study and, and answer questions and figure out, you know, again, the areas that I needed to work on more. And he also has a website. So I did take the practice test on his website. I took a lot of online practice tests. I didn't pay for any of them because budget, but those really did help me. Uh, I found about three or four websites that did have practice tests on them. Literally just go on Google and type in um, practice tests for real estate and you'll see the ones that are free of charge that you can take. So that really did help me a lot to see different types of questions and different wording and see what would help me. I also used the um, guide to passing the AMP real estate exam book. Um, that did help me a, a good bit because some of those questions are a little bit different from the questions in your school final and that school book that you were given. So for me that worked to use both of those books side by side. I will say though I did see a number of questions on the state exam that were similar to the um, questions that I had on my school final and school midterm and from the book that I had from school. So that was that's a little bit uh, encouraging knowing that you probably will see questions similar to the ones you had during real estate school. Um, again, 
prayer was everything for me because to this day I know that God favored me during this whole entire process. Um, I still sometimes don't see how it happened, how I did it, but I did it and I thank God and I know it is only because of him who strengthened me because there were some days I didn't know how I was going to do it. Um, even leading up to the night before the exam, I didn't get a good night's sleep. I probably got four hours if that and I was a little anxious so it was really hard and I was falling asleep uh, almost, you know, during the exam I was so, so exhausted and tired um, and there was what? 152 questions so it was a lot on my mind um, so it was mentally exhausting physically exhausting so I'm just grateful that I made it through and you know there were some questions that I didn't really um, wasn't too sure about and what I'll say is I learned this from my school final whatever you just don't know just skip it come back to it at the end I allotted myself about 30 minutes at the end of the exam to go back over anything I wasn't too sure about and, you know, pick an answer then. Because what ended up happening, you know, like they say, some of the questions on the rest of the exam helped me answer the ones that I may not have known. So that really did help me to just go through, answer the ones I really knew, then come back to the other ones later and pick a more educated answer. So. That worked for me. Um, really just study as much as you can. Watch those videos. Those videos were so, so, so helpful. Um, and I know he offers a membership on his website where you can have access to unlimited videos and quizzes and things like that. You know, if you want to spend the money on that, do it. Um, I personally did not because again, I'm on a budget and I utilized everything that I had available to me for free and it worked in my case. Um, but I will say more than anything, if you put the time in, if you are dedicated, you know, you can definitely do this. And if you don't pass the first time, don't give up. Go study what you saw on the exam that you weren't too sure about. Go right back in like another few days. You know, don't give up. Keep going. Um, for me, I was determined to pass that thing on the first try. And I thank God that I did. From day one, you know, I was motivated. I wasn't listening to anybody who said, oh, it took so-and-so two times or it took me three times or it took so-and-so six times. I let that go in one ear and out the other. I didn't think about, oh, I can miss 38 questions and still pass. I was like, I'm going to get as many as I can right. I'm not thinking about how many I can get wrong. I want to get as many as I can right. On the way there, I'm telling myself, you're an excellent test taker. You're going to do amazing. You're going to get the best version of the test for you. You know, God is favoring you in this. You got this. You're going to do better than you think. You know, all of that really did help me um, and ease my nerves. And yes, I still was nervous and anxious up until the end of the exam when I was going to find out my results. And that's totally normal. But at the end, I knew that God had already destined this for me. And it was going to happen and it was going to happen in my favor and I thank God that it did. And big shout out to my husband who invested in me in this entire process. I honestly would not have been able to do it without him. Literally, I would not have. And I thank him so much. I love him so much for investing in me and believing in me. And all of you who prayed for me, who sent me encouraging messages, who supported me, I thank you too because just in the nick of time, I got an encouraging message. I felt your prayers. I know you were praying for me. It really helped. I know it did. And I thank you so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I am just still overwhelmed. I'm excited to be in this wonderful world of real estate. It has been amazing so far. I'm still learning a lot. I'm moving forward. I am motivated every single day to do something different, to be uncomfortable, you know, and, and talk to new people and network. And it is very exhilarating. And I love this journey that I'm on. And if you are in this journey yourself or you're thinking about it, I encourage you to go for it. Real estate is amazing. It's awesome. If you have what it takes and, and you are motivated and you know you can do it and you're willing to put forth the effort and sacrifice, definitely go for it. It is not easy. I'm letting you know this now. Um, it is going to take some time and dedication, but if you set your mind to it, you can do it. And I know that you can just step out 
and do what you need to do. So I really hope that this helps. Um, that was just my quick tips, things that people told me and things that helped me as well. Um, I hope that if you were on this journey that you passed your first time as well, I know you can do it. Let me know. I would be so excited to hear your testimonies and all of that. And of course, if you or someone you know lives in the state of Georgia and you or they are looking to buy or sell, please contact me. I would love to assist in the home buying or selling process. You can reach me at india.jonasaint at metrobrokers.com. Thanks guys and I hope you enjoyed this video.